Hi everyone, I'm Garrett from Zip Scanners, where we make scanning easy. Today I'm going to compare the Uniden SDS100 and the Whistler TRX1. These are the two newest handheld scanners on the market. The TRX1 was launched in the summer of 2016, and the SDS100 was launched two years later in the summer of 2018. The SDS100 is by far our best-selling scanner, but the TRX-1 isn't that far behind. The three main differences between the SDS-100 and the TRX-1 are also the three main reasons why the SDS-100 is more popular than the TRX-1. One, the SDS-100 is the newest handheld scanner on the market, all but solidifying its place as the best scanner on the market by default. Two, we've said it so many times that I started mumbling it in my sleep, but the SDS-100 handles simulcast distortion better than any scanner to date. And three, the SDS-100 is GPS capable. The TRX-1 is getting long in the tooth when you consider how consistent Uniden has been with their product launches, and you compare that to Whistler, well, Whistler Wendy announced on radio reference that they have terminated the production of the TRX-100 and TRX-200. The TRX-1, a nearly three-year-old scanner, will remain Whistler's newest and best handheld device for the foreseeable future. So this could insinuate that this is where the GRE Radio Shack Whistler legacy ends. So Whistler seems to be blazing a path for Uniden to walk down alone. They could be working on something else that will rival the TRX-1, the SDS-100, and all of Whistler's previous scanners to this point, but at this time we have no way of knowing which direction they're headed. Now I'll go through some of the similarities and differences in a little more detail and take these things out of the box. Alright, so I have both scanners out of the box side by side with Remtronics antennas, which we Highly recommend as an aftermarket antenna. It improves reception by up to 200%. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is power on both scanners at the same time to see which one boots up first. So turn it on. So the whistler starts a little bit quicker there. Goes through the screen, but slows down there. So something to consider in the first startup stages of the SDS-100, you have to enter your time zone, the date, and the time. So they're relatively the same in speed. Um, I know these aren't iPhones and Androids, but it's something to compare. So a few things about these scanners. Uh, both are handheld phase two scanners, meaning they can monitor digital, analog, pretty much anything. The TRX-1 cannot handle simulcast. Uh, the TRX-1 is not GPS capable. So both have SD cards. I'll show you the location in the battery pack here. So this battery is bigger than when it was the first uh, batch of scanners came in. That has eight hour battery life as opposed to the four that uh, the SDS-100 started with. And this is the SD card location. This is how you unlock it. It's an eight gig SD card. And uh, be careful with this clasp here, it's very delicate. Uh, I haven't broken any yet. It's, it's a miracle that I haven't. But it's an interesting location. It could get damaged. And I don't know, I don't, I don't think I like the location of the SD card. It could become corrupted or broken. Um, personally, don't really like the bulk in the back for the big battery. I wish they had modified the smaller battery to have a better 
battery life, but this is what it looks like now. And those are the cards we've been dealt. And the TRX-1 takes four AA batteries. These are the batteries that we sell. They're Lupicell rechargeable batteries. Um, we also recommend buying two sets um, and the external battery charger, which I'll show you in just a second. There it is. So it just plugs into your wall. The prongs come out. And the SD card location is right here. I just use this to pop it out, which I believe is a really cool SD card location. I know it's a small feature, but it, it is one. And this one comes with a four gigabyte SD card. If you receive programming from us, we send out eight gigabyte SD cards. And that's if you don't order the scanner itself, just programming for the Whistler TRX-1. So both have approximately an eight hour battery life. It really depends with the TRX-1 if you have the external battery charger. The device itself is not powerful enough to charge the batteries in the unit um, just by USB like the SDS-100 is. But with the SDS-100, we offer the external battery charger, which also comes with an extra battery. So occasionally I'll have someone who orders the external battery charger and an extra battery and I'll let them know that you probably don't need three battery packs. So both have free programming software, uh, Sentinel for the SDS-100 and EasyScan for the TRX-1. Both are relatively easy to use. Uh, I think that Sentinel is much easier to use than EasyScan. Some things can be corrupted within EasyScan and they're kind of hard to correct. So both have lit keyboards right here. Uh, with the TRX-1, you have to adjust the volume and display settings in order for the light to stay on. Otherwise, it just turns on with every key press. Um, it's kind of the same way with the SDS-100. So if you leave it idle for a while, the SDS-100 will shut off. The screen will at least until you press a key. Uh, the Whistler, just the backlight turns off. You're still able to see the text in black. Uh, the display is a little bit different. This is more pixelated. This you can customize to any color. So that's the nice thing about the SDS-100 is you can make it pretty. Whistler, not so much. You get what you're given. So both have zip code features. On the SDS-100, it will say zip services at the bottom. And on the Whistler TRX-1, it is in the menu. It is on set location. Hit select by city, by county, by zip code. And go by zip code right there. Same as the uh, STS-100. There's just not a specific key for it. It's within the menu. Um, but there are a couple other options there too. By city. Type it in obviously. And by state. So some of the differences between the two, uh, the TRX-1 has scan lists and the STS-100 has favorites lists. So within the menu, uh, the STS-100 manage favorites and favorites lists and within the TRX-1, there are the scan lists. You could check them off. That's a nice feature. 
Um, with the SDS-100, it's a little harder to isolate favorites lists. One thing you notice is the TRX-1, it's pretty blocky. Um, it's smaller, shorter, more compact, it's a little heavier than the SDS-100. As I mentioned earlier, it's a little bulky in the back. And I've heard some people lately surprised at how small the SDS-100 is. Um, the TRX-1, smaller. As I mentioned, the display, a little bit different. There's many display options for the SDS-100 and few for the TRX-1. And then there's the, the case of the case. So the SDS-100 has a few nylon cases. We don't currently offer any at this time, but maybe we will in the future. And with the TRX-1, you get the rubber case with two colors. The other one is, to use an iPhone term, space gray. Um, it's rubber. Some people seem to really hate the thing. Uh, just because it's difficult to put on and well it's pretty easy to put on a little more difficult to take off we have a video just explaining this imagine that Ooh, see it's not not easy not difficult either if you have to do it three times a day like I do and like I said uh, the batteries much different. The battery pack for the SDS-100 is lithium-ion, and the Whistler will take any double A's. But we recommend rechargeable batteries because, again, the unit is not powerful enough to charge the batteries. One pretty big difference. The TRX-1, the codes NXDN, DMR, Moto Turbo Voice, an APCO P25 Phase 1 and Phase 2. Um, these are all paid upgrades with Uniden, all $89.99 on our website. Uniden offers them for slightly less. The price point on these two scanners are a little bit different. The TRX-1 right here is not much cheaper, but it is cheaper. And the SDS-100 is a little bit of sticker shock. One more thing with that. So even though the TRX-1 decodes NXDN, DMR, Myrtle Turbo Voice, etc. for free, um, I've been hearing lately that the TRX-1 does not run very well on NXDN. It's just something to consider. It's case by case kind of thing. Um, it's whether or not it performs well in that specific NXDN system. It depends on range, reception, just your area in general. So the USB cable, the batteries, and the AC adapter are not included with the TRX-1. Um, if you get our scanner deal, with the TRX-1, all of these are included, as well as screen protectors and this Remtronics antenna here. Um, we like to combine that package just because none of that is included. And it's, it's a mystery why none of it is included. So in conclusion, these scanners are not dissimilar, but the big differences between the two are what makes a difference in which one you're going to buy, whether it be price point, simulcast in your area, free upgrades versus paid upgrades, or just whether or not you like the look and the feel of either of them. Um, but in short, it's really up to you unless there's a big roadblock like upgrades and simulcast. So I hope you enjoyed this SDS-100 TRX-1 comparison video. Hit the like if you like and please subscribe to learn more. I'm Garrett from Zip Scanners, where we make scanning easy. We're open seven days a week. 
you can call us at 737-777-9876 with free shipping, no taxes, and lifetime technical support from experts like me. Thanks.